Hello everyone and welcome again to another Teacher Joseph podcast. <clears throat> Today I'd like to tell you about an Australian drama which was shown in the UK in the 1980s. It was called Sons and Daughters and it was made by Reg Grundy, broadcast by the Seven Network in Australia between January 1982 and December 1987. At that time, British television was dominated by Hollywood. We had Dynasty, otherwise known as Denver. We had Dallas, Falcon Crest, and a whole host of other TV shows. But to have an Australian daily drama was very unusual for us because nobody really knew much about Australia and how they lived. Sons and Daughters was a little bit different because it was broadcast at around 3 p.m. in the afternoon. So the audience, I think, were mainly wives and children like me who rushed home from school to watch it. Sons and Daughters was very famous for its cliffhangers. A cliffhanger is when at the end of every episode you're left hanging, wondering what's going to happen next. And of course it had a very famous evil woman who had married into both families who was out to destroy both of them. That actress, her name was Ruena Wallace, became the first soap star, or daily drama star, uh, to win the Gold Logie Award for her performance in the role. She eventually quit. She said that all of these scenes of stand-up arguments and the evil plotting were so hard to perform because she basically was shouting and bawling at everyone every other week after trying to kill them. She was eventually replaced by another actress who was just as scheming and uh, portrayed as being really nasty. And then, like all daily dramas, the original actress returns as the evil twin. It was very, very interesting, and it's still around on social media. If you like uh, English-speaking soap operas with a little bit of a twist, you would love Sons and Daughters. The initial premise for the show was a Romeo and Juliet-style romance storyline, which was about two families. One of them was the Hamilton family who lived in Sydney and the other one uh, was the Palmer family who lived in Melbourne. A young couple start dating, not realising that they are actually brother and sister, which was a bit strange because I think everybody watching had worked that out very early on. There was an affair between two people, of course, their parents, uh, which started the whole show off. And following the shock revelation of John and Angela's real heritage, that they're actually brother and sister, brought the two families back together. The character of Patricia rapidly developed into the main focus of the show. Her, neuro <laughs> her neurotic obsession to control everything and her scheming was the source of most of the drama and tension between the other characters. The evil Patricia, or Pat the Rat as she became known, became a very popular character among viewers. New characters came in later, over the eight or nine years that it ran, 
including Patricia's best friend, the really crazy rich socialite Charlie Bartlett. There was also another who was the younger brother of Beryl Palmer, who falls in love with and marries Angela. It gets very confusing, though, because it's the same characters amongst two families who keep marrying each other. There was also the morally confused and neurotic grandson of Patricia's former lover, who leaves Patricia a substantial amount of money following his death. And then, of course, we have the depression, the sleeping pills, the attempts to kill each other, bombs, evil twins, you name it, and it was there, to use an English expression. There was something lovely, though, about sons and daughters. It had a certain innocence to it, despite the fact that they were killing each other. Let me tell you something about that lead actress. She was born in 1947. Her name was Rowena Wallace. And like most people in that TV show, at least the main characters, she was born here in the UK and her parents immigrated to Australia when she was very young. She left that series in which was replaced by another actress, and she returned in the final series as the evil twin. After Sons and Daughters, she subsequently appeared primarily in guest roles and in other TV series, eventually ending up in another Australian TV series, which was very popular here in the UK, called Home and Away. She left Sons and Daughters after three years, with her final scenes being shown in 1985, just after she received a very popular award. She claimed in a documentary that she left due to exhaustion from playing such an intense character. She also claimed that she regretted walking away from the role as she did not get the later acting offers she had anticipated. I mean, she was a household name, but I think once you are stereotyped into a particular role, it's sometimes hard to get other work. The popularity of her character led it to being recast, with Belinda Giblin, who was her replacement, taking the role of Patricia. But later in the show's return, with ratings in decline, she was brought back. And indeed, it was done to boost the show's popularity. With the replacement actress still in the show, Rowena Wallace came back as her long-lost identical twin, Pamela. Her return lasted 10 weeks, and the show was cancelled shortly afterwards. In March 2011, Rowena Wallace was the subject of more media coverage because she had occupied a house which was due for demolition in August 2011 and she feared she would have nowhere to live. Um, and she was desperately trying to find accommodation. So it, it looked like she had fallen maybe on some hard times. But she's still around on TV today. I mean, on British TV, she regularly gives uh, interviews and documentaries about her time on Sons and Daughters. Sons and Daughters wasn't the only TV show at that time. There was also another one called Neighbours, made by the same company. But the weird thing about Neighbours was that it actually lasted 40 years and was only cancelled last week. The final show, at least, being broadcast last week. It was cancelled, I think, a few months ago. So if you want an English-speaking drama with a little bit of a twist and a really iconic, clear 
obvious evil character, Sons and Daughters is definitely for you. If you like old TV, fashions and the 1980s, find Sons and Daughters. That's it for me. See you. Bye.